Hello everyone, welcome to the Cloud Network. In this tutorial, we are going to uh, the most important things to do after installing Fedora 21 workstation. If you install on your laptop, desktop, or workstation, or anyone, so what are the important things you have to do is uh, that these are the 18 things you have to do after installing Fedora. First of all, we'll update the software and repository then we'll go for the uh, open the terminal and then we'll update it and let me show you all those editing steps so now uh, you can see this is my fedora workstation login page so i'm going to log in here just click on this username and i'm going to enter the password now this is the wallpaper desktop and i'm going to open the terminal by tapping here on the clicking on clicking activities so there here i'm going to type terminal t so here is my terminal i'm clicking double click on the terminal so here i'm going to update it so i'm using the command like first of all we log in into the root to log in to the root i will show you how to set the password or if you forget the password if you want to set if you want to reset the password of root means just type a w s d password space give a root this will set a new password so we are showing okay we go for the su uh, it will have the password now i have been logging into the root so this root set password i will show you in next video do not need to worry about it let me let's go for the update now type sudo yum update press enter before continuing step you should check this you should have connected ip address uh, you should have connected internet to access this update so here it is going to ask about uh, terminal size 500 mb if you want to press ok then you can type yes if you want no you can type no so i am going to type here so i have typed no because i have done i have intent my internet connection very slow so i type just no or uh, if you have a very good internet bandwidth image you can proceed with yes so here i can also uh, re-update it later on also by this below command so now move to that so after updating we are going to do first is configuring genome shell interface so for that one i need to type sudo yum install genome 2.2 this is the first interface where i am going to use it so i am going to type sudo yum install typing this command so we need to proceed so just press enter here so press yes now it's have been completed so now just now we have configured genome shell interface next we are going to configure install the genome shell extension this is the same command that previously we have just typed the command with the both the commands it's going to install genome shell extension plus genome interface so we are going to move uh, move to the next step that is we are going to install yum extender so this is the command sudo yum install umx so this so now just clear this one and type sudo install sudo yum so, so after typing just press enter so now it's 2.9 download size press y proceed now it has been completed we will move to the next so just now we have typed this in command we are moving the first step this is enable rpm fusion respiratory we need to enable so this is the command sudo yum local install Jonah uh, uh, check and this is the uh, download uh, link which goes to be download and then after that we need to 
type this sudo uninstall then after that you need to type update so just now copy of uh, uh, this command sudo local and so it's going to install it so i'm proceeding with the yes all this command we can have in description so now this has been downloaded we are uh, i am doing another step that is in place type non just may about to the free so i need to have free here type and non non and then press enter this is the next step continuation of this one so it will be installed some of this fusion so now just type small yes enter now it has been completed we will update this one by typing sudo yum update press enter so i have been installed rpm fusion test quality now so now we will move to the installing vlc media player so installing by typing sudo yum install vlc so just type yum sudo yum install vlc just press enter so it will automatically detect the version so it's showing that total download size is 24 mb and install size is 84 mb because of my slow bandwidth internet connection so i am i am not going to download this one so i am just pressing in uh, you have to proceed with the yes by pressing y small y so that you can install vlc so we we'll move to the next one so now after installing this is going to install yum faster mirror plugins so i am going we are going to install mirror plugin so uh, type this command sudo yum install uh, space yum hyphen plugin hyphen fast fast at mirror press enter to proceed with the installation so just type yes this is small size heavy so it has been downloaded completed so we will move to the next step by clear this command now we will move to the seventh step we are going to install flash p layer on 32 bit version you can type this step 10 step level 12 and i am 64 bit system so i am going to use a step 13 step 14 so just type rpm this is installing flash layer set off so it's going to install so this is the next command type r sudo rpm press enter so now we will type sudo yum install flash plugin so it's installing flash plugin now so, uh, the download side is 6.9 mb so i am going to press no so you have to press type yes when downloading this one has been done we will move to the next installing the google chrome so you need to type this a command and then this uh, you install the desktop environment is there so we are going to install uh, chrome so google chrome type this a command press enter so it's going to install chrome and at the side is showing let us see download So this is a command for to install Google Chrome. Now this is the next steps is that is one installing desktop uh, environment. Like you can install any one in, in here in any option you can install any one. Like Mint, KDM, KFC, LSD desktop, Cinema desktop you can install. But just need to type this command and you can install. And we are going for this next steps. This is install Freddy tool. So this is the command you can install this Freddy tool. 
So we are going to install the, the next time is to install virtual box. We need to type uh, sudo yum install virtual box. Yeah, or else, or else you can find in your software center there also. And for installing Java 32 bit, you need to type a step 26 or 64 bit steps. You need to type 27 steps. So this is the step first. You need to type 24 step and 25. After that, you need to type 27 steps to install your Java. And if you have 32 bit OS, you need to type a 26 steps to install the Java. And then to install Gino Music Player, you need to type this sudo command name install Gino Music. Uh, that's it. Uh, if you if you, want, you can, if you want to install Q BitTorrent, so just type Q BitTorrent, it will be installed. And to install Dropbox, you need to type 26 step now, that is for 32 bit. And for the 64 bit step, this is for 30 step for 64 purpose. Just type this command, or you will be installed at your box. And this is install popcorns just need to type uh, node.js first 30 steps after that you need to type if you have a 32 bit os you need to type step 31 and 32 if you have a 64 bs you need to type 33 and 34 steps to install popcorn so installing steam you need to type steam and then if you want to install dot zip or wrap files like means means you need to type unwrap and zip file so this is my end of video if you have any problem you in this updating so you can comment below to my descriptions all those things you will be available below to my video description all those commands 18 commands will be available completely so that you can follow step by step procedure to install all those commands so if you get any problem you can comment below the video please do not be things any other excuses or any any other things because because of slow internet connection i could not download anything so please thank you for watching our deployment video.